festival is sort of like a fifth season. You have summer or spring, which we're having now and in a very beautiful way, and um, fall and, and, and winter, and then there's sort of festival season. And it really is almost like a separate season that sort of takes over the entire city. And I think Luminato really wants to transform the city and immerse the city and its citizens into culture and into arts. And a lot of people travel from afar to a festival, stay there for several days, and really hopefully switch off their Blackberry and just give themselves over to this artistic experience. And in a way, sort of this uh, marathon or long durational format is something that fits that kind of thinking as well. Where you really sort of give your life over and a good part of your day to theater and to the arts. And where you basically um, let them lead your experiences. And where it's something that, where you make a conscious decision that this is a time that you want to um, spend, you know, with the arts. One of the really key productions and essential elements of this year's festival is uh, Robert Wilson, Philip Glass's Einstein on the Beach, which is probably one of the most important artworks of the uh, 20th century. What's so groundbreaking about it is that it doesn't tell a story. It's an abstract opera. It's actually conceived as a collaboration between a visual artist slash director, Robert Wilson, and uh, the composer Philip Glass. Uh, they decided they wanted it to be, um, I think, 260 minutes long, so four hours and 20 minutes. There's no intermission, I think, which was part of the idea of really creating this total artwork so that the audience really feels completely immersed in the piece. I think if you go to see Einstein and sort of force the work to tell you something, it's not really going to work. But if you go to Einstein on the beach and just give yourself over to this experience, you will come out um, of this as, as a much, much, much richer person. Another one of our really true highlights of this year's festival is the North American premiere of Playing Cards Spades by Robert Lepage. He's created a three-hour-long piece um, with his ensemble improvising scenes and creating um, characters and stories. The idea for playing cards is the deck of cards and the different colors that a deck of cards has. This one, Spades, focuses on the idea of the um, Iraq War. It's the first part in a tetralogy of four evenings, so it is sort of also returned to his gigantic uh, theatrical projects. Um, that will continue premiering over the next um, few years and then he will combine it to one huge long evening sort of in the tradition of um, Lip Sync and the Dragon Trilogy. Another quite exciting project that we're doing is uh, Stuart Goodyear's Beethoven Marathon where he um, is taking on the huge task of performing all 32 Beethoven sonatas in one day which is um, about one and a half times the length of Einstein on the beach. It's about 11 hours. I feel like um, the title Beethoven Marathon is like a little bit of a kick like four score and seven years ago. It's this wonderful way of bringing the audience um, closer and they're absolutely curious about it. It is a whole one day set and I always felt that these complete sonatas were a set since I heard them when I was around four years old. So it started from a very early age and it was a lifelong doom to present um, the sonatas in this fashion. All of the directors actually that we've invited with productions to come to Luminato are really all pieces that have redefined sort of a theatrical language and then have created their own theatrical language. You almost sort of see really the, the creme de la creme of these innovators of theaters um, compressed in such a amount, short amount of time. And I think it's a true gift to the, to, the, to the audience and to Toronto to be able to experience really some of the most important voices um, in theater and people who've influenced so many other people.